Welcome to the Learning Resource Center's tutorial on using online databases. In this tutorial, how to pick a research topic and find relevant articles from magazines, journals, and newspapers will be discussed. In this section of the tutorial, building a research strategy will be discussed. Usually, research begins with a general topic or question of interest, such as, discuss a human rights issue you think is important. Before you begin your research, try to have a concrete idea about the subject matter you want to research. Refining your research topic will help you decide on your approach to the subject matter and discover whether there are other ideas that may surround or affect it. An easy way to do this is to build a research strategy. If you think about it, there are thousands of different topics related to human rights that could be researched. To narrow your subject down and get a more specific idea for what you're interested in, Write down specific words and phrases related to your topic that seem interesting. Next, pick one of the subjects you have written down and write it in the third section as a question or an idea that can be investigated. For example, what rights should Guantanamo Bay detainees be provided? Once you have your specific question or topic, break it apart into main concepts. For example, the main concepts of this question are Guantanamo Bay, detainee, and rights. Once you have reduced your question or topic into main concepts, think of as many words or phrases that can be used with or in place of your main concepts. For example, oftentimes Guantanamo Bay is abbreviated as GTMO or GITMO, and instead of using detainee, prisoner, captive, or combatant could be used. Thinking of words or phrases to use with or in place of your main keywords can be a useful exercise because not every person, database, website, or book uses the same words or phrases to describe the same concepts or events. This portion of the search strategy can also help you think about the different dimensions of a question and how it is affected by other ideas and events. Depending on the results from your searches, you may have to revise or rethink your topic. For additional help with your topic or question, contact your instructor or a librarian. In this section of the tutorial, using the library's online databases to find articles from magazines, journals, and newspapers will be discussed. For our purposes of a basic demonstration, and because most databases work on the same principles, only two of our general databases will be discussed. Once you have a research topic in mind, use the library's databases to find the academic articles from magazines, journals, and newspapers. When beginning research, it's easiest to start with the library's general databases. The library's general databases can be accessed by using the tab box in the center of the page. Though each of these databases covers a broad range of topics, they each focus on a particular kind of information. For example, SERS is used to find information on current issues. Opposing Viewpoints is used to find articles related to controversial topics. Net Library houses full text electronic books, and Films on Demand contains research oriented educational videos. Academic Search Premier and Academic OneFile will cover a wide range of topics and will include articles from popular magazines and academic journals. For more database options, click on the ADZ or subject-specific database links. You can also access the library's databases by clicking on the Databases Articles link in the gray navigation menu or from the library's subject and course guide pages. If you're accessing our databases from an off-campus location, be sure to have your TTC ID handy because you'll be prompted to a screen that looks like this when you click on a database. As a way to verify that you are a member of the Trident Tech community, you will have to enter the barcode number from your Trident Tech ID to access the library's databases. Here's an example of the barcode number a big blob would use if he were one of our students. As one of the most widely used databases the library offers, the first database that will be discussed is Academic Search Premier. Once inside Academic Search Premier, there are several options you can use to limit your results. 
For this tutorial, we will only be selecting the full text option, starting at the most broad point in the search. Selecting the full text option will filter out brief summaries in the results list, called abstracts, and only return whole articles. When using any of our databases, you should start out searching for a specific subject. This is where your research strategy comes into play. Use the main concepts or some of the additional keywords to begin your search. Let's say I'm still interested in finding information on the rights of Guantanamo Bay detainees. Once you have entered your terms, you can choose the kind of search you want to perform by using the drop-down menu. For example, you could search for a particular article or author from a particular journal. For this search, we're just going to keep it general and leave it as an optional choice. Once you have typed in your search terms, click the search button. Take notice of how many results you receive because this will be a key indicator for whether you need to enter additional keywords to refine your search or whether you need to use fewer words for a broader search. Using the keywords Guantanamo Bay, Detainees, and Rights, I received over 100 results. If you have tried several combinations of keywords and feel you are still receiving too many results, there are several options to choose from to narrow them down. The search results automatically defaults to show articles from all sources, including academic journals, magazines, and newspapers. But you are provided the option to choose the specific type of source the articles and results come from. For example, if you only want to use academic articles, you can choose the academic journals option to filter out newspaper and magazine articles. Select the All Results option to see all of your results again. On the right, you have provided several options to limit your results. Notice the full text option is still selected. The scholarly peer-reviewed option will only return articles that are research-oriented and have been reviewed by experts in their field. Another option provided to refine your search is to limit the date range of articles in your results. For example, you can choose the date range for articles in your results to only be between 2005 and the present. The References Available option will only return articles that provide citations for resources used in their research. Once you have selected one or several of these options, click the Update Results button. Notice that my results have gone down from over 100 to 13. If you are satisfied with the number of results, you can begin to peruse articles by clicking on the title for additional information such as subject terms, citation information, and a summary of the article. The article can be accessed by clicking on the full text link at the top of the page. Each article provides the option to be printed, emailed, or saved to your computer. The option to see an article citation is also provided. To access an article citation, click on the citation link to go back to its information page and select this icon. Even though many of our databases can provide citations for you, you should always check the citation to make sure it is in the correct format. You should also check with your instructor to make sure it is acceptable to use. You can also consult with the TTC Writing Center for additional help with citations. If you're having difficulty finding articles for your research, use the bibliography of an article that you have found useful to find additional resources. If a bibliography is available, it is usually listed at the end of the article. A bibliography is a list of resources the author has used in their research all of which you can search for using the library's databases. For example, I could search the library's databases for this article to find additional information related to Guantanamo Bay detainee rights. If you receive little or no results in your search, unselect the full text option, select Update Results, and search other library databases for articles Academic Search Premier does not have access to. For example, Academic Search Premier does not have access to this article, but you can search for it using any of our other databases. 
If the library does not have access to a specific article, you can request it through Interlibrary Loan. For more information on requesting articles and books, see the Pascal Delivers and Interlibrary Loan tutorial, or ask a librarian. Because each of our databases retrieve articles from different sources, it's a good idea to use several different databases to find as many useful articles as possible. Another excellent database to begin with is SIRS. SIRS is a large database that covers a wide range of general topics, government reports, country profiles, and news stories. This is also a great database for current topics because it is updated every three to four minutes. And unlike Academic Search Premier, all articles in this database are full text. Before searching, notice the Leading Issues section. If you're looking for information related to a controversial topic, this would be a great place to start. By selecting the More Issues option, you can see all of the pro versus con topics arranged alphabetically, the top 10 issues, topics organized by groups, or use the Visual Browse option to find topics. You can also search topics by images, maps, and current news. If you choose to search for a topic using the search box, be sure to notice whether you're performing a subject heading or keyword search. The subject heading option searches for the official words and phrases used to describe a topic, while the keyword option searches a wider range of more natural, everyday words used to describe a topic. Let's say I'm still interested in searching for information on Guantanamo Bay detainee rights. Typing the keywords in the search box, connecting them with the word AND to find the maximum number of relevant articles. Or you can use the advanced search option for a more specific search. If you perform a subject heading search and there are no matches, SERS will automatically provide results for a keyword search. As with other databases, you can use keywords from your search strategy sheet to narrow your results or remove keywords for a broader search. Similar to Academic Search Premier, you can focus on specific kinds of sources you want your articles to be from. If the All Source Types option is chosen, it's a good idea to pay attention to the icon beside each article because it represents the kind of source it comes from. Click on a title to read the article. Just as with other databases, you can print the article or email it to yourself. To cite the article, click on Citation, or just scroll to the bottom of your screen. Before deciding to copy and paste the citation into your Works Cited page, check the citation to make sure it is correct and that your instructor has approved the citation format. In addition to references, SERS often provides links to related articles that would be useful in your research. Though this tutorial only covers two databases, you can use any database for any paper or project. As you are searching for resources to use for your research, keep in mind that this is a process that takes time and can sometimes be frustrating. Oftentimes you will not find exactly what you need from your first or second searches and there will not be a simple yes or no answer to your research. You have to use the articles you find to support the purpose of your paper or project and use critical thinking to apply the information you find. If you have any questions about research or library online resources, feel free to contact us to find resources to fit your information needs.